Hello guys, welcome to another episode of Baldur's Gate 3. We just left off with a bit of a tussle with Astarian, our roguish friend, question mark. But I was just checking out his skills, he's like really good in stealth and thieves tools, so he will be doing all of our unlocking. Um... You could say he's the master of unlocking of our party. But we're kind of rocking it with two clerics and a rogue. And it's hurt. That thing's bound to be dangerous. Oh, mind flare. Best be careful. Well, obviously, I'm not going to cast like healing word on it or something. You approach the dying monster. This is the thing that abducted you. You could end its life here and now, if only you didn't feel compassion. Compassion. Oh, it's trying to, it's trying to manipulate us. I should feel furious, shouldn't I? It's after abducting me, abducting all these different people, putting tadpoles in our heads. You deserve to be punished for it. You should be whipped, made to bow before this creature in shame. It's possessing your mind, forcing you to love it. But then the feeling slips. Love it. The creature's mind seems to focus no. elsewhere. What, is it, what else could it be focusing on? Yes, okay, we'll give this a go and give us a bit of guidance because intelligence is not our forte. It's not exactly a negative, but it's not our forte. Oh, good. Your okay. mind's Once we pass with it with the main one, that's good. That is gone. But then its grip claws back with a vengeance, a vice locking your mind into obedience. It needs sustenance to survive, and with your very body, you can provide. No, no, we're gonna wisdom that. We're gonna, we're gonna resist. Come on, it's like a, it's a DC of five, well, and that one is the only way we're failing this. The monster lies exhausted, defeated. Its eyes, wet orange pearls, radiate malice. He's not even worth me using the magic to kill. He's already defeated and he'll just die alone. Slowly. That's maybe the crueler option, but... I'm not about to... Cool. I think, I think I'm jumping probably the way forward for this. I wonder if I had like create water, if I could just like douse the flames with water, that could be cool. Where else should I be going? Gosh, this game is just so pretty. Check it out, but be careful. Oh, yeah. Well, we will check it out carefully. Maybe they'll be able to help. I mean, odds are after shouting, there's probably some sort of conflict about. Goblins? 
Open the gates of war now! You let goblins here? Where is the druid? Please! There's no time! Oh, is that the druid? Did he wide shape? I'm guessing not. That's probably a monster. Oh, here are the goblins. Four, three goblins. Oh, oh dear. Oh, well, I guess we have to help, so. Are you the druid? Then suffer it sting. You are giving very Bridgerton vibes, Mr. Druid? Are you the druid? Oh, that, oh my god, look at the initial tracker, there's so many. Okay, let's just nuke something with a guiding bolt here. Hum, 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 hum. I mean, I think we're hidden, so probably has a bonus to hit, right? <laughs> you would think, you would think, oh no. Oh, and now this thing's alerted to us. Oh god, it has high ground. What? Let's go, Astarian. Let's hopefully get something. Time to move. Honey action hide. Let's have a little fun. Oh, that's literally in view of everybody, so Oh great. Do I get like sneak attack when allies are near? We'll just do a ranged attack. Decent damage, decent damage. Kind of feel like I ran my squishy DPS really far up. Not a not idea. Oh, good, good, good. Oh, and look, you've like such height advantage. Just shoot something down. Rallied, that's probably good. Missed again, oh my goodness. Look, you're rallied, just... Nice, 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 nice. Oh, did he just grease us? Is he a wizard? A goblin wizard? Just threw grease down? Oh, we'll be careful with fire now. Hmm, got that. Bless. A healing potion could be handy. This is a bonus action, but now I can't. Oh, I can still bless our guiding bolt. We'll bless ourselves, I suppose. One, two, three. Didn't slip in the grease, that's good. Bicycle and sword. Oh, oh jumping and all jeepers. Oh, missed the attack opportunity. Come on, we need to start hitting things a lot better, guys. Come on. Oh. Shadowheart, can you please, please. To stop letting the side down. Saved the save, of course it did. Uh, oh. Can you even like move up there? Everything's slowed because of the fucking grease. Yeah, getting hit 
by that now. Oh god. Astarian, yeah, you've to hit up there, please. Because I think she's one of the only ones looking at you. So I feel like you'll be able to hide better. Then again, just damage is damage, I guess. Yeah, no, I can't. I can't hide. I'd say, I'd say that's the issue. I'd say it's the goblin up on the high cliff. Come on, girl. Stop missing all these opportunity attacks, come on! And like, we just have one fucking goblin and all of our party are just struggling to get rid of it. Oh, okay Shadowheart, you pulled your weight. Good girl! And maybe now... A starion will be able to hide. Oh, well, no, there's one over there. So, yeah, I can't sneak attack. But I can basic attack. I don't think this thing's particularly strong. No, so that should. Miss! Oh, come on! Oh, okay, well, th that guy from the fucking abyss was able to do that. But no, the, the tables have turned now, I think. Everyone's looking a bit peaky. Maybe if I, you know, preserve lives, I can, I can like select people, can't I? So let me, I'm trying to see who's the most injured in this area. You seem the most injured and you're upside the work. Ugh, what did I do? I ended the turn? Oh my god, I'm such an idiot and that person nearly died. So dumb! Come on, Astarian, just... Yeah, because he's like surrounded by enemies, so sneak attack applies. Nice, 10 damage, good man. Let's find some prey. Maybe I just don't want to stay hit. Okay, Serena, do the preserve life thing, but don't click and turn. So, where's the guy that's like really injured? Yeah, he'll heal that guy. Just click on his portrait. Oh, oh, he has everybody. Oh, well, never mind. That's very good. Guys, like, come on! I did not burn a channel divinity. So have you guys just get bopped by a ward that you're completely surrounding. Come on, sneak attack. Sneak attack ranged. Kill it. We're hidden. Advantage. 
That was the last of them. Inside. Well done. Open the gate. Well done. So I'm actually going to switch over the controller and just see how that goes. Just two seconds. So I'm after switching over to controller. Hopefully things look nicer. Ooh, inventory collectibles. We can do like alchemy and stuff. Can I pick like flowers? I remember you used to be able to do that in other games. Oh, butterflies! Oh, they're so pretty. So, yeah, I was like, I think the camera will look a bit smoother. But um, I'm not really sure how this is looking. But I find it a little easier to navigate. Maybe not like so much with them. Um, so like movement, like action commands and stuff. It's still a bit uh, clicky. There's goblins over there. Worth checking for supplies maybe. Yeah, I'm I'm doing that Shadow Heart. Thank you. Ooh, a supply pack, very nice. What's going on with that room? What is it's that? Kind of somehow. You approach the sigil on the stone. Magic glitters and swirls from it erratically, as if malfunctioning. It looks slightly dangerous. Malfunctioning magic. Wonderful. Great. Um, yeah, let's ooh, touch it. Maybe not that good an idea. A hand? Anyone? Um, Cleric, let's mutter some prayers to calm the magic down. Can we give us a bonus? Please? I would really rather not fail. So, with a bit of guidance, yeah, like we should be fine. We plus three. Oh, barely. Oh my god, that was so stressful. I nearly got sick of my mouth there. Jesus. Now a quick little pull should do the trick. Heave and oh. Hello, I'm Gale of Waterdeep. Apologies, I'm usually better at this. Better at getting stuck in magic, better at getting out of magic, better at introductions. A bit no, no, but uh, Serene is too polite. It's a relief and a pleasure to make your acquaintance. Say, but I know you, don't I? In a manner of speaking. You were on the Norse Lloyd as well. And I can only assume you two yes, are on the receiving end of a rather 
unwelcome insertion in the ocular region. The insertion we speak of, you this handsome, handsome parasite. Man. Are you aware that after a period of excruciating gestation, it will turn us into mind flayers? It's a process known as ceramorphosis, and let me assure you, it is to be avoided. You don't happen to be a cleric by any chance, do you? We are hoping to avoid it. Doctor? Surgeon? Uncannily adroit with a knitting needle? You seem to know enough well. about our condition to realize it's beyond most clerics' skills. Most? No doubt. But I find myself hoping to be in the presence Shadow of Shadow Hashi was talking to me, okay? You don't have You are right not the right. only cleric here. I mean, like, no, I'm, I'm not powerful enough to, yes, but... Yeah, As we've established, I'm, few enough can. I do not have exactly the power to remove this. We're most certainly going to need a healer, and soon, too. How about we lend each other a helping hand once more and look for a healer together? Yes. Most excellent. That sounds parasite like shared a plan. is a parasite halved. Or something to that effect. Oh. But before you think you're about to embark on a journey with most ill mannered a man, thank you for pulling me out of that stone. It was an act of foresighted kindness, I assure you. I have the feeling ample opportunities will present themselves for me to return the favor. We have a new party member, the Wizard of Waterdeep, Gale. So let's level him up, get him to level two, unpower with everybody when else. Library. And I think we're gonna just call that an episode so we had a massive skirmish, oh my goodness, and now we're after unlocking our wizard friend. So, I kind of go through and look at everything. I was tempted to go to the nation, but I just feel like we need, like, strong DPS and, like, the more evocation or, like, you know, heavy hitting spells I can get him for free or for cheap. And like the more I can just chuck massive fireballs or massive burning hands and things and then be able to go, oh no, pocket, pocket, pocket of protection, you're all grand. I think that's definitely 100% where I want to kind of go with that. I was tempted to go with the abjuration one, like the defenses and stuff, but I was kind of like, ah, eh, Serena has like the heals and the defensive magic. He can just go pure offensive magic. But oh my god, his like outfit's like so nice. His hair is just the right amount of tussled. I mean, I'm not saying I have a crush. I'm just saying I can appreciate good, well-designed artwork, you know? Um, But yeah, I end up picking Magic Missile and Burning Hands. You know, having an auto hit for that moment where it's like, oh, they're on like very low HP. Would sure be great if they dropped. Oh, I missed. Oh, no, they got a crit. And oh, I died. So, you know, Magic Missile is a nice tidy up spell. So we're definitely picking that. And then I'm just actually picking the, you know, evocation thing. Um, Little spoiler from Liam slightly in the future. I find a fucking Burning hand scroll anyway. So I'm like, God dang it. Um, should have picked a different spell. Cause I could have just learned it by like paying for it. So that's slightly frustrating. But yeah, that's going to be today's episode, guys. Um, hope you enjoy and I'm looking forward to keeping on with this series. Thanks a million. For a dull moment. Oh, there's oh, I, I magic, magic, sorry, magic. 
I'll keep in this dialogue. I am a cleric. I do have magic. Oh, I do apologize. I meant to ask, are you studied in magic? Okay, Namely, there's no need to be rude. A wizard, which you are not. If you meet any elder wizards, let me know. Oh, side quest. There is a matter awesome. I'd like to seek Will advice do. on from a master. 